Good morning. Three o'clock. Uh, we are going with the, uh, instead of uh, rice cakes, I'm gonna hit the oatmeal today, one cup, and uh, start out with chicken, a little bit more than usual. Got my crystal light. Got a little sodium going on here. Off to the workout, we're gonna do a little back action, but I wanna jump on. Today's gonna be uh, me taking you through this whole process. As you know, the team's been working really hard. Um, and so I just let the boys sleep in today and uh, I'll go get in this workout and continue forward. And I'm gonna do a, a two split today. So stay true and tuned to this uh, process today, along with the cardio and ab work. I'll give you a little bit more details on that today. All right, something I've never done is uh, kind of give you an example of what I take to the gym in the morning. So uh, let's take a look. I have got uh, a shaker. What's the shaker for? Well, that is for my protein afterwards. And this one is for my pump. Boom. Take that bad boy when I get to the gym. A towel. Those are kind of requirement kind of things. Not much else. One of these things that you put on the face, mask. And then I got my heart monitor and music. I do do music when I'm on cardio. Uh, helps me think when I'm on cardio. And that, and then my water with a little crystal light iced tea. Starting out the workout. Starting with lower back. It's a great machine. Just kind of give a good warm up. Now Doc is, that's NCAA athlete, rocks and roll. He introduced me to this one. Good weight, good eight to 10 reps, good speed. Keep a focus on the lower back. But now what we are doing today is a little something, something. Coming over here, they don't get a vertical hyperextension, but this one will do. Up, over. Stretch, look at that lower back. Boom. Show you again. There's no rush here. And it's also a flex. See how he's flexing? Obviously you can just lean into this and pull back. Get momentum, he's not. Pause. See the pause there? Good stretch, sits in it. Back up, flexes through it. That's pretty, that's pretty. Try this out today, guys. And this is the start of the workout again. This is before deadlifts or anything else. What's up, boys and girls? We got some pull down action going on this morning. Ooh. Check this man out. He's keeping his body in a neutral position. He's not swinging, he's not moving. This is all back. Get you about eight to 10 reps here. Ooh. Oh, nice. You guys are gonna like that. If you don't got a double handle, just do close grip. You're gonna like that. Nice squeeze. Come on, stop. <sighs> Same thing. Come on. Tucks it under. Pass all the way in on this. You're gonna see both. That's why I'm explaining. Continuous lean back. But still getting the stretch in. Don't assume just because he's not leaning forward, he's not stretching it. Great. Last thing, hands in, hands out. See that? Little tricks, little tricks. All right, we're gonna show you a little bit more. You guys always seen me go forward. Now watch the rotation here. Wow. I'm gonna give you a better angle. Woo-wee. Everything. This one you can load up, guys. Get heavy, get crazy. Pull that sh up. Nice stuff. What a fun little workout. All right, so again, we started with abs, 30 day blitz. So there's a lot of ab work. And I'll do the abs uh, three times during this workout. I'll do it at the beginning of the workout to warm up a little bit. 
I'll get my workout in with the right now back. Then I'll do abs again. Then I'll jump on some cardio. After cardio, I'll hit abs one more time. Uh, remember, we're doing a lot of abs. Count those numbers, make sure to get them in every day. more isolation a little bit of pause my recommendation on the next set stack it get moving so do those seated rows we're gonna do seated rows again or we're gonna do the hands up top more upper back and today's gonna be a double so I'm gonna hit some uh, deadlifts later today so I'll show you that but which is a little different for you guys. I know you go in, hit the big body part like a, or a compound movement, and then hit the secondary after. We're doing the reverse today. Me and Doc are training back as the team sleeps in, and then I'll hit some deadlifts later. So enjoy this. That's all I'm gonna give you this morning. Uh, it's uh, about 4.40. We're taking our time, but we're getting through it. Everything's about four sets, eight to 15 reps. I'll see you uh, next for deadlifts. What's up, 5 0? Hey, oh, lighting's pretty good. Ooh. Lighting's not that bad. All right, guys, All right. so this is what happens when when Rez pops the. T this, is, right, this is what happens when Rez comes over. Oh. All right, this is what happens when uh, Mike is hungry. He, he invites everyone over. And he puts everyone to work. That's right. Bro. So, Rez, you thought you were coming over for a photo shoot? Wrong. You making Mike's breakfast I'm, I'm, or whatever hey, meal this we're is. We're getting our, our fake natty juice, bro. Our fake natty five, juice. Ten, five, five, or whatever you want to call it. The trend. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you got right there, big dog, bro? We got that 100% egg white. Okay. From Egg White International. That's right. I might Mike's favorite stuff. BP, all right. We go with the BCAA. So we're gonna do scoop. We gotta do eight ounces first of egg whites inside the cup. Yeah. You go. Don't, don't worry about it. Let Res make. Let oh, Re, let Res make right. Res's drink. Good, don't we? But just blend them together. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point there. One. Cool. Two. Ooh. Nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Who cares? See, this is what also happens when Mike says you make the drink. You're gonna get yeah, what you, you get. get. Essential aminos. Oh yeah. Right. Red BCA does it just doesn't work for you. You gotta get an extra trend. That's right. Trend plus. A little, little something, Red. something. One. Ooh. Two. <laughs> Don't tell him. Yeah. Res, you you uh you do your BCAs and EAAs. Ooh. Good. Leave it on that. I live on these without eating. You what? I can live on these without eating. Oh yeah. For a few days, bro. Oh yeah. That's what I'm doing today. All just BCA. Hey, that's it. Bro. <laughs> we got nine <laughs> scoops. Total. You got nine scoops in there. Okay. I want to make sure I got enough room for a egg white. That's clean. Hit him a little, uh, an eight ounce or. Do I want to scale this? I don't measure them. Really All right, well. let's see what you got. Let's see what you so got. I need. This is. Oh, you just got to do it. Just got to do it? Yeah, you just got to do it. You ready? You yeah, ready? I'm ready. You ready? Ready? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Boom. That was pretty clean. 
That was pretty clean. A day later, I'm, I'm starving in here, guys. Hey, bro. Jeez. The, the trend. Is it ready? Yeah. Big niche fish. Right, trend yeah. is ready. Yeah. Yeah. Trend, let's go, bro. Ready. Let's go. You have no idea what I put in it. <laughs> all right, all right. What can we shake it with, bro? What is that we thing? shake it with. Dude, if, if only we had some type of blending device that we could oh. mix this up with. Well, we don't want to blend. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with this guy? I don't want to do that. I don't want to make it funny. Hey, make funny. sure it's on one before you, you yeah. crank it. I shouldn't have told him that. <laughs> Let's work this out. Work this shit out. Hey, get back here, Mike. Hey, that's what happened when you don't put the egg white first. <laughs> what did the solution do that? <laughs> See? Done. Yeah. That's why you use the one without the lid. Yeah, right. And then it comes from grandma. <laughs> He's old school, bro. Is that not even ninja? <laughs> Dude, this is way better than a ninja. The lighter mix? Are you kidding me? Like some down. Oh, Red just took your video. <laughs> Alright, I think it's blended enough. Yeah. That's nice. Pretty simple, that's what I need. Yeah. That's I have the ninja cute no. bag. Jerking no, bro. left and right. No, the ninja's is trash. Yeah, don't jerk it. And this lasts forever. Yeah. You can put anything in there, too. You want to smell that? Trust me, Mike's blended some <laughs> shit in his day. <laughs> All right. So, Rez made his... Nine scoop total. Nine scoops. Oh. You know what, Mike? It's like not I'll... about the look, bro. It's about the performance. <laughs> hey, that's true. <laughs> That is true. We eat for performance, not the look. Yeah, for real. Not really a taste either. You can mix it up, but I don't really believe in that. That's some important stuff right there. Let's give this to, uh, <laughs> let's give this to Titan. Yeah. After you, big dog. Okay. So the good thing about this shake. Hey, bro. Oh, you got it? The trend mix. The trend mixer. The trend mix. <laughs> in your case, in your face. So the your good thing about this is, Mike's not gonna taste it. He's not gonna see the consistency. Oh I did not think he was gonna drink that. Oh, was nine man. scoop in this. My man smashed. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! Nine scoop of what? He killed it. <laughs> Just kind of let Res make it. <laughs> Good job. Goes down, I did man. not think he's gonna drink this and he didn't even flip. No. <laughs> That's, that. That's what I do. All right. While I'm here, you want to get the video? What's going on? Well, we got Bryce Gata up. He's going to do a little partials. Hey, guys. I saw when Mono was doing squats. For the people that didn't watch the full video oh, uh, a couple weeks back, she was doing partials. And, and uh, <laughs> the snowflakes started commenting. They're watching her do partials. On squats, and they start commenting, "What's a what's a power rack?" I'll uh, I'll take time. You just answer that. What's a power rack? Is that a deadlift, or is that a partial? Hmm. Oh, oh, you can do deadlift partials, but you can't do squat partials. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can, guys. It's it's a. An interesting statement. Now you're gonna watch Bryce Gator crush this shit right here. For the people that watch it, they learned a lot because I saw a lot of people that really. I'll get back it. to that. I'll get you back know, to we'll that. Get back to that. So I got Bryce up. You can see where the knees are, right on the bar. I like it on the bar, uh, or the the bar will be below the knee. But right now you can see it's at the bottom of the knee. And Come here's on, the secondary knee. thing. Come on, up. Come on. Let me see if you guys watch this. Watch this back. Oh. He stopped. Here's two. Here's three. All the way down. Here's four. And here's five. Good job. Okay. Now this is for you Titans. I saw some of you guys doing power racks and it hurt me to watch. And I didn't like it. And then I commented and some people were saying, well, you know, I was... Just, and the reason, here's the thing. Can you do it like a lot of you were doing it? Well, I'm gonna show you Mona do it, and I'll say yes, you can do it to trigger your nervous system if it's a load of weight. 
if it's an extreme load of weight. So in that case, yes. Um, the only reason I would say do it more like I'm having the brace is because I don't want you to go that extremely heavy unless I know that you can go proper form the way Bryce is doing it. So Mona is going to do an overload. So now we showed you do her partials on the squats, went up to 275 pounds, and then what you didn't see is her hit 315 on partials. Now we're going to do, again, even a smaller partial for Mona, and she's just going to rep through it. Power, whoa, look at her. Yeah. 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 Now this is another thing I need to say, is this. Mona just did the dry out. And so you saw me the other day talk about dry outs and how mm -hmm. you should take time. Mona didn't take time off the dry out. She went right back into training. Surge is still drying out. It's, surge is. So Mona's doing 315 and it's I saw cool. some of you guys doing 315. So I'm just saying it's okay to go down and wait and do it correct. But if you're gonna do it extremely heavy, then set it up like Mona's doing. This is gonna be just a straight through it. It's again, she has long, long legs, so you can see the bar is still hitting those knees. And crank through this, and she's gonna do a tap and go. Get boom. Get up close on this back. That's she's doing this, come on. Look at the stress through that back. Why are your shoulders fibers flexing? Is this a shoulder exercise? Is it? <laughs> oh, okay, there's six. All right. Feel good? Feel great. All right, so she did the 30 day blitz, she did the dry out, and she's doing parcels with her 15. Kind of crazy. Um, be smart, guys. Be smart. Again, I said take the week off. Or do what Mona's doing, or what I did is, is do a reverse diet. You're doing a reverse diet, and so you got a little carbs in you, but yeah. you're still going to be dehydrated. And also what you did was you traumatized your body, and then you go, uh-uh, I'm going to keep going, where your body automatically drops after you go to 100. Right. And so, like, Bryce always takes a week off once a year. I should have took a week off, but your body automatically, as soon as you hit 100, it's going to drop. You can't stay at 100. It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. I think I was at 80. <laughs> <laughs> Let's load that up. Okay. Now, however, the people that actually watched the video and watched it all the way through, some of you came back and apologized for your earlier statements, which is great. I mean, you basically watch something, you go, okay, I didn't realize it, I kind of spoke too soon, and now I understand why you did it. Proud of you guys. That takes a, mostly in today's day and age with all the uh, snowflakes, it takes a big person to go, you got me, you got me. Okay, I, I see the philosophy behind it and I understand now, and so boom. And so with, with doing the partials, go out and do that. Um, get the partials in there, do the partials on the deadlifts. Um, you guys know that they, I have that in power bodybuilding, I have that in strength gain programs. So I'm a big believer in those. Uh, and the big thing is, is you're triggering your nervous system with something about 100 pounds more than you normally go. That's what my recommendation is. Whatever you deadlift, go about 100 pounds more on the power racks or on the partials on the squats. Um, try those out today, try those out. Now, Mona, you gotta go over to her page today to um, kind of find out about the reverse diet. You guys know that I am staying on the 30-day blitz. A lot of you are starting to sign up for the dry out because maybe you heard about it last week. Stop. Do the blitz, the 30-day blitz before the dry out, okay? Hold on to the blitz. If you already got it, hold on to it. Start the 30-day blitz. Um, if you got the dry out, hold on to it. Start the 30-day blitz. Um, Mo, we gotta get your pictures today. That good lighting. Um, do her before and afters. She didn't do it when she did the dry out. She looked too good and she was doing shoots all day. But she didn't do the actual photos, like just standing there. I forgot. <laughs> um, I don't know where Jeffrey's going to do this, uh, but hopefully you can watch some of my uh, workout I did this morning. Um, he might put that at the beginning of this or at the end. 
depending on what he feels like doing. We'll see. We'll, we'll see, see if it even makes the cut. Ooh, it might not make the cut. Might not make the cut. Doc filmed great stuff today. He oh, did. I know Doc um, did his part. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't know if I did mine. <laughs> <laughs> I had to deal with that top on that. Yeah. Let's go, um, let's go over to Mo's channel right now. Yeah, let's and go. Let's go watch her crush this. Yeah, let's go do that. Sound good? Let's go.